William, I want to thank you for uh, putting this together. It's unfortunate that at least 25 or 30 other business type people left. And I know we had a lot of people here concerned with flood insurance and all kinds of insurance. But I just want to let you know that the state of South Carolina is in a bad way. Small businesses are the heartbeat of South Carolina. They job providers. It don't matter if it's bars, restaurants, I have no construction companies. We in South Carolina, there's a reason why the insurance companies are leaving. These gentlemen just spelled out one of the reasons, and I think it's the biggest reason. We are happy state to be sued in, okay? And that's got to change. Small businesses can't survive, and I know when people get hurt, they need fair representation, and they need to be compensated fairly. But there needs to be some serious tort reform done. And it's the legislators, not the commissioners, that does that. And we got a problem because I'm, many of them, my family and friends, are good lawyers, and they're protecting the environment they live in. And a lot of them are legislators, and they they are on the committees and they chair the committees. And to get tort reform passed in South Carolina, and that is what you're attempting to do, is build a groundswell support from the business community. It's got to happen. And if you can't get it done, then you've got to start electing people that will get it done for the benefit of the business in South Carolina and the residents of South Carolina. And, and I commend you for starting this. And it's got to it's got to be across the board in every business out there. It's an issue in the state of South Carolina. There's a reason they get insurance coverage in North Carolina and our neighboring states. None of them want to be in South Carolina. There's a reason. Called tort reform, and it's time, and it's, and it's time now to get it done.